During the Civil War, many new technologies were implemented by both the North and the South. One of these technologies was the Minet Ball, invented by Claude E. Minet in 1849. Before the invention of the Minet Ball, muzzle-loading rifles were not practical to use due to the long time it took to reload the rifle. Since the bullet was the same size as the barrel, it had to be shoved down with the ramrod into the barrel of the gun, which took a lot of time and effort. The Minet Ball changed all of that. There were numerous ways that the Minet Ball was better than previous weapons. It had greater range, better accuracy, and even faster reloading time. Let's take a look at the various different features of these amazing new inventions. First of all, the bullet was in a conical shape, with a conical cavity in the base. The ball was smaller than the barrel of the rifle, which led to easier reloading. To reload the gun, a soldier had to ram the bullet into the charge, and when the charge exploded, it sent the bullet flying. Also, when shot, the bullet expanded from the gases and heat caused by the burning of the gunpowder. This shape of the ball led to greater range and greater accuracy. The cavity in the base helped to keep the gases contained. If the gases were contained, then it would give more power to the ball, giving it more speed. When the ball began moving, it caught the grooves of the barrel, causing it to spin, much like a football. The spinning of the bullet caused it to zoom through the air, obtaining greater speeds than any other bullet in the past. When the bullet hit soldiers, it caused numerous problems. First of all, the bullet would shred through organs as it passed through the victim's body. If the ball hit bone, it would shatter it and then pass through. This often left a larger hole where the bullet exited as opposed to where it entered. This rendered the bone useless. This devastating effects of the shot was the primary reason why most troops were killed. If the Minet Ball did not kill a soldier on impact, the soldier would almost be sure to die from the infection and disease that the deep wound caused. Amputation was the only way to prevent the spread of disease caused by the bullet wound. However, since medical technology in the Civil War was not as advanced, amputations were not always successful, and even when they were, they did not always help the patient. Before the Minet Ball, muzzle-loading rifles were not practical to use. Although they had a greater range and accuracy, they took a long time to reload, causing them to be quite inefficient to use in battles. The Minet Ball made muzzle-loading rifles practical to use in battle. The conical cavity, shape, and size of the ball caused it to be reloaded quicker, making it much more effective in battle. These rifles had accurate ranges of up to 200 to 250 yards, much longer than the ranges of the old smoothbore muskets. Those could only fire up to 100 to 150 yards. Now, let's take a closer look at how muzzle-loading rifles were able to be reloaded much quicker. In previous weapons, only about 5 to 10 shots could be fired per minute. But with the mini ball, with the mini ball in muzzle-loading rifles, this increased to 20 to 30 shots per minute because of the smaller size of the bullet. This not only increased casualties, but also increased the pace of the war compared to the slow pace of the wars in the past. By fast pace, we mean that battles ended much faster, as troops were also killed much quicker. However, even though the technology had been improved, battlefield tactics had not. Two opposing forces would still march towards each other in tight formations until they were very close together and begin firing. You see, this plan worked perfectly fine with the old muskets, but with the new rifles, this was a much different matter. At such close range, the muzzle-loading rifle devastated troops. Due to the new Minet Ball, casualty ro rates soared to an unprecedented high. In this way, the weapons of the war were way ahead of the tactics in the war. Lastly, the Minet Ball directly affected the outcomes of battles. The defenders almost always had the advantage in battles during the Civil War. Since the muzzle-loading rifles could not be used efficiently, defenders simply had to wait for the charging attackers to come into range. Then they could pick them off easily. Throughout the Civil War, technological advancements in weapons were cutting edge. The Minet Ball was one of the most significant of these advancements. Not only did it directly affect the outcome of the war, but it completely changed the way wars were fought for many, many years to come.